All right, Jason Rona back here. We're in the J Concepts garage. We're here today again with Fred Reap. Uh, Fred, we just came back from another great RC monster truck race. Uh, tell us about your trip up to Missouri and uh, what we were doing up there. Yeah, another thousand mile trip logging on the J Concepts van. Good thing it's a good Ford product. We can get there and back. But uh, yeah, headed up to the uh, J Concepts King of the Monster Trucks up in St. Louis, Missouri, actually Fenton, just out of, outside of St. Louis, and uh, a real unique race. Yeah, I mean, the guys there with the Trigger King Club, uh, they got an agreement there with the Vinyl Image Graphics uh, building. Uh, right. We set up inside there, and uh, I know when we arrived, they had the track quite a uh, quite set up already. It looked nice, mm -hmm. and uh, the appearance was good. You came in, got your scoring set up, and you and Doug were there on the, on the mics and uh, running these qualifiers. And, and uh, you know, I, honestly, I was pretty impressed with how quickly you know, we got through qualifying. And Yeah, basically, it was a little bit more relaxed for the uh, competitor because we didn't have to pair up everybody exactly. You know, everybody could just come up, lay down a time, get their time recorded yeah because when then once you get the brackets you know we went over at the bracket racing is a little different than right um you know traditional off-road racing we do and everything like that but with the brackets you know you set it up uh, according to times and then and then you roll from there right uh we had many different events you know we talked about we had the the classic retros we had outlaw retro sport mod pro mod uh, but well, let's talk a second about the the classic retro class, which mm -hmm. is we have one of the trucks here in front of us, which yeah. is one that we built. And uh, tell us about uh, you painted up this body, got it ready. I worked on the chassis, and uh, how did this thing come together? Yeah, it's a real nice piece. You know, it was something I guess you came off the cuff of you know wanting to try and do this body. You know, with our '79 Ford and our racer back and the uh, the, the visor, it kind of works really well. I mean. The visor and the racer back wasn't particularly designed for this body, but it works. It, you know, tapes right on there and it looks legit. Um, you know, the Michigan Off-Road Center decal package that we had created for it, it you know, makes it look like the one one truck. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, we I, I bought this truck from uh, Jamie Grun. Uh, it's one of his Grun chassis, and we got to the point where we wanted to mount this body. Right. And we're like, hey, we want it to sit a little lower. We wanted to come up with our own body mounts. We came up with this idea of... Um, you know, making the cage part of the body. Um, and then, so that would be our mount. And then we kind of got into, all right, well, if we're going to do that, we might as well do this chassis. Then if we're going to do that, we might as well add the shocks. And, you know, then it just keeps moving on. We made a, you know, the uh, radio tray and a, mm -hmm. a tray for the battery. And, and then, um, you know, we, you know, we did some 3d printing and then, um, well, you made start made in that uh, that drive up there. AJ and I uh, put the truck together, and, and then we brought it up there, and, and then we had a finished product. Yeah, it came out to be a really nice piece. I mean, it handled really well. The suspension actually works on it, which is pretty amazing to me. And uh, yeah, I mean, it it proved itself in racing. Yeah, we had an interesting course there where we, you know, kind of like almost like the old Pontiac Silver Dome days, where they pull the sled. You do the 180 degree turn, you come back over a set of cars, or two sets of cars, and then the finish line. And it looks really small when you walk up to it, but when you actually race, um, it doesn't really feel like that. You know, it happens so fast, right. but at the same time, it's it's very similar to what you would do uh, or what they were doing back in those 80s uh, time period there at the Silverdome. Right, and you actually had to depend on a pit guy. You had Matt Stoltz in there unhooking yeah. you from the sled, so... If he slouched a little bit. That could have cost you. And uh, then we, we got to see uh, Tad Goad's Awesome Kong. Mm -hmm. uh, he competed with it for the first time, and it was really more of a show truck. Um, but it worked really well also. Right. And it's really the first proving ground for the golden year tires that you have on that thing. Yeah, I mean, they're with the shape being a little rounder, I think what ends up happening is uh, you get sort of a nice feel going you know, through turns. And uh, some of the other race tires are set up for forward acceleration and sort of that straight line uh, all out um, you know gusto to the finish right. but uh, you know these are meant for nice smooth turns and they're the blue compound like I ran on on this particular truck was really they're really soft feeling and they they just had a nice plush feel to them over the cars and and rolling through the you know the the concrete and 
carpet transition. Right. Yeah, you know, where the suspension package in these trucks kind of lacks, the tires kind of help absorb some of that impact. And then kind of moving on, you know, we did that class and then we got into the Outlaw Retro, which um, was probably my favorite class of the weekend, just doing the basically a clod buster. Uh, we added a bunch of weight, which was the rules there mm-hmm. that weekend. They had it set up at nine pounds, um, which, you know, I didn't really think about at first. And uh, the guys brought it up and, you know, we were like, man, we got to add a lot of weight to this truck right. to uh, to get it to be uh, race legal. We also went with the the motors that they spec'd out for everybody and the battery, um, you know, that they wanted you to have uh, the limitations on the battery. So a little bit of messing around there to get the truck completely legal in the outlaw class. Mm-hmm. But in the end, it really paid off. Um, of course, you did another uh, nice job on the body, the Bigfoot 4 Louisville. You got the pink light covers, yeah. you know, the KCs on top, and, and a lot of those little details. And such a big part of those trucks in those days and able to incorporate it into that class and actually run them in a um, outlaw retro type class was was really was pretty fun yeah when you see them going around the track from 20 feet away and it kind of looks like the real deal i mean they're not exactly like a real monster truck underneath but when you're seeing it hey that's yeah. louisville bigfoot yeah exactly and uh, we had some great results in that class as yeah. well matt stoltz uh kind of got off i mean he was probably the hottest driver there at the event uh, in the racing he tq'd uh the outlaw retro he had both of his trucks really cooking the uh the Pennsylvania Mountain Monster was one of his, and then uh, he also had his other his other truck there um, that that worked so well in qualifying. And I mean, he was you know he was high qualifier and with both of his trucks. Yeah, he takes it really serious, and that's really neat to see. I mean, some of it you know it's a leisure to come out and, and have fun, kind of a hobby. But you know, he's out there. He wants to compete. He wants to win. He wants to bring some home some uh, hardware for J Concepts, and it's it's great that he takes it serious and. Uh, you know, he puts the time in and he gets the result. And then in the end, um, both Matt and I got to the finals. He ended up faulting out on a on a jump where he didn't get, you know, both uh, tires over the jump section. And uh, his run, uh, he got a penalty. So I ended up getting the overall win there uh, with the Bigfoot 4 Louisville. And, of course, running the, the, the Golden Years tires again. Right. But we switched to the gold compound, which we felt was better on the concrete. Right. Yeah, worked really well. I mean, everything was kind of hooking up. Everybody was uh, handling. You know, we spent a lot of time testing the, got these trucks, and uh, yeah, we got the suspensions to work. I think a lot has to do with getting the suspension to work on these things to get it around the track. So we did the sport mods, mm-hmm. which um, I, I actually really enjoyed the sport mod class on that track. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, being limited on traction on the concrete the way the track was kind of set up right. a little tighter. Um, I thought the way the power was in those trucks, you know, cause they have a limit on the horsepower mm-hmm. on the sport mods. And I really thought that they, that they handled the track pretty well. What'd you think watching the sport? Mods? Yeah. I mean, speed isn't everything. I mean, you can overpower a track where you got to dial out some horsepower. I mean, uh, we'll get to the pro mods here in a second, but yeah, I think that was probably the most competitive class, a little bit more evenly matched with the motors comes a bit down to, you know, a driving skill. And it just had enough power to where it didn't overpower the track. I mean, overpowering the track is, you know, when you throw it in the turn, you get on the gas and the truck spins out. That's not good racing. You want to get be able to control the horsepower. So, uh, yeah, a lot of good real close races. Some of the fastest times of the day were turned in that class. Uh, Brandon took big advantage of it and, and got a, a great win there with his, his war path. And uh, he has the... It basically looks like a Trevor Adamo vehicle, right? Um, with the way that the body and the chassis and everything is, and it makes you think that that was actually his truck out there. Yeah, he was running the Wildflower paint scheme. I'm sure Trevor had some sort of involvement there, and I'm mm-hmm. sure he's glad that we're plugging it for him. But yep. uh, yeah, it's uh, he looked really good. I mean, he was very consistent all day long. And you know, so we we move on from there. We hit the pro mods and. This is where you kind of feel like <laughs> this is like the big boys come out, you know. Right. Uh, we got 50 plus trucks in that class, and which is a deep field uh, for the monster trucks. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, running them through qualifying, mm-hmm. you know, and then uh, you go into eliminations. And this was the most difficult one for me personally um, to race in because I felt like the the traction and the power of the trucks were way different. 
Right. And it was actually very hard to drive the trucks because they didn't really want to do what you wanted them to do. Uh, but again, um, Matt Soltz was on fire with uh, in qualifying. He started off a Superman and uh, put in a Superman run right away. We also brought the new body, the 2005 Ford F-250, the plane jump truck, the Bigfoot logo uh, on there, and uh, painted by Dan Wyatt. That was my other race truck, mm -hmm. and uh, that was on the Chaos chassis. Now, we had many other guys, uh, Josh Rhodes and all these guys. They were making it through the brackets. They are doing a good job. Yeah. Bobby C. had a lot of trucks out there uh, doing well. We got through the eliminations. Um, I kind of got there to the, the quarterfinals, semifinals, mm -hmm. and that's where you kind of met up with all the Matt's fast trucks. Uh, and then Mo had his trucks down there, and you mm -hmm. know we got into those brackets. And um, Matt eliminated my Bigfoot Twenty One, uh, I believe, with one of his uh, Bigfoot Cube trucks. And then um, then we got down to the final four, and it was my Gold um, Lucas Oil truck, Matt Superman. Mm -hmm. We had Mo, and then we had Matt. So Matt had two trucks um, in the semis. I had one truck. Mo had the other one, and. Uh, and then Matt got in the finals basically against himself right? and uh, took a first and second overall. Yeah, looked really good. And then, uh, you know, once we wrapped up racing, you know, it was tear down the track and set it up for freestyle. Yeah, the guys uh, hopped on it. Bobby C. and all the guys, they really hopped on, uh, you know, doing the freestyle track and moved everything around and had a really big course. Yeah, um, it was tremendous. I mean, the ramps were huge, you know, big layout, a lot of jumps. A lot of stuff to do. Yeah, so I mean, another I kind of broke out another truck there. I had my Warpath with the uh, Overkill body on it that we've yeah. been kind of preserving for quite a while. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of got that truck running again. I was like, all right, we'll try it in freestyle, see how it goes. Uh, you know, I, I landed a couple big jumps, got a couple airtime, did a couple donuts. You know, the normal routine, and then uh, had my tire fall off. Um, just a mechanical problem on my side, but. Uh, it was it was fun. Um, Bobby C laid down a lot a lot of good runs with mm -hmm. his trucks. Um, I think he probably had one of the the biggest air jumps uh, with his truck there uh, that I saw in the competition. I, I know I got a pretty good one with the overkill truck too, but um, you know the, the the power he ran kind of a pro mod setup that mm -hmm. thing. That thing launched. That we did the two classes. We had the sport mod, the pro mod, which mm -hmm. Bobby C won both classes yeah. there. Chris Tolbert ended up putting in great runs. He he got there on the podium, and then uh, like you said, in the end, we did the encore. You mm -hmm. went out and ran Max D. Had the music pumping for Max D. Yeah. And um, little slow start, and then then came the backflips. Then you're kicking and in. Then the huge jumps and yep. pole hits, and I mean that thing took so much abuse. And, you know, all you hear, you know, me watching or uh, standing around is everyone's just like, it's still going, it's still going. It's still going. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, nothing's fallen off of it, really. And uh, the thing was still at full power. And, you know, we still have it here untouched. And it's ready to go again. Ready to go. Kind of to, to finish off that particular event, um, we'll go over, you know, some of our new products that we showed out there, which... The big one was our 2005 Ford F-250. Right. We talked about it earlier. It was mm -hmm. one of my race vehicles, but it was really more of a show truck uh, with the body painted by Dan Wyatt. Went through, got the um, the legit decals on it, so it has that plain jump look of the, the Bigfoot truck from the late the late 90s, which right. was, I believe, 1999. And, um, and that was actually one of the prizes at the event. We gave away that body to... Um, each of the entries, uh, the drivers that signed up for the event. So we brought in that new body, unreleased, uh, made just for the event, had one display on my truck. Uh, Bobby C. had one on uh, Joe from Vinyl Graphics uh, vehicle, but it was a brand new body. Yeah, brand new body. You know, it was a real treat for those guys. You know, everybody kind of likes getting something for free or as a prize. And, you know, with the entries, everybody kind of got one there. And, yeah, it's really neat. And then we, you know, like you said earlier, we debuted. We had the uh, the Golden Year tires mm -hmm. out there. We got two wins with those. Yeah. And you talked earlier about uh, the looks, the performance, yeah. that round look. And uh, adding that to the event for us was big. And then we kind of teased a little bit on the new J Concepts tire mm -hmm. um, that we had on uh, one of your old mutant trucks there. Yeah. Cody Saucier just uh, 
paying homage to him. He's a really great guy and, you know, helps us out a lot in the background. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to dress that thing up, you know, just like his ready, ready Monster Jam truck. And, uh, yeah, that's ready for its next performance. But, uh, yeah, it looks great. Now it's the, the total package and the finish to its look. And uh, we we'll really look forward to the World Finals coming up next year with that truck. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of cool new things. You know, we wanted to show those, those two tires at the event, bring that body uh, out to show. And, you know, it's just that opportunity um, comes at those events. And, and it's a lot more fun to kind of to gear up for something like that. Right, yeah, the fans can really relate to it. You know, that's kind of the look that's going out there right now. So, uh, yeah, anything, anytime you can make a skill kind of representation of it, you know, people can get into it. It's like, wow, it looks like the real thing. You know, and, and you've built a lot of them here. We talked earlier. We got the Capital City. Mm-hmm. You know, you've worked on just about every one here. Uh, you know the ones that you specialize in that you like to drive the uh, you know the J concepts conversion right. for the slash four x four. That's the one we always do the uh, freestyles with mm-hmm. at the events that go over so well. Um, you know, and you know the other day you got an interesting phone call based on all these uh, you know inside looks and different things and the builds and right. and uh, we had an interested party that was interested in building building up a new ride and uh, tell us a little bit about this. Um, phone call that came in a uh, phone call from a good friend ryan anderson you know uh he sees our videos and stuff going out and you know he's, he'll see me burning it down with the rc and uh you know it may not be as a spectacular performance as he could put on and a and a son of a digger but uh anyway you know he gives me a phone call and uh yeah we got a little project cooking here and uh we'll let everybody know about it hey ryan what's going on hey what's going on everybody what have you been up to Just, uh, Okay. Uh, teeny and Bog Hog run this weekend, so I'm super excited about it. But to be honest with you, you know, the thing that's really on my mind is this uh, this project, man. Okay. What's cooking? Well, so my my son race. He's four years old, and he's you know a fan of anything with a motor. He loves it all. And for honestly, about a year and a half now, he's been on my back. Dad, I want a, an RC car. Okay. Dad, I want an RC car. So. I tried with the, you know, the normal ones you buy from, you know, the convenience stores and this and that. And he doesn't even call those RC cars. You know, he kind of knows it. He knows that already, huh? <laughs> so, basically, I, I need your expertise, man. I want to make a truck for my boy okay. that he can grow with, that he can, you know, have. He's going to handle good. He's going to take him, probably run into the wall, into trees, all that stuff. But one of the main things is that he says it has to be bog hall. Okay. He's going after Weston, huh? Yeah. He wants yeah, the he bog hog identity. He's, he's all about the bog hog, and he's seen Weston's bog hog RC car. It just he freaks out over every time he gets it, and he sees it, and he says, you know, Dad, I want an RC bog hog. I want a bog hog RC truck. Okay. Uh, he, he loves on the tires, the Flame King tires. He thinks they're awesome. So, you know, I, I need... I need you to, to lead me in the correct direction to make sure that my boy's set up with the best stuff. I mean, that's... It should be a fun thing. I mean, yeah. you know, we got a lot of different trucks here. and But once you get the Andersons excited about something, um, you know, they're ready to burn it down. Yeah, right? they're all in. Let's let's build one and burn it down. So uh, that's something to look forward to. Yeah. And, you know, the other thing we have is we've got a couple events coming up. Tell us about where you're going to be next on the monster truck side. And uh, I can talk about where I'm going to be. Yeah, the International Monster Truck Hall of Fame up in the... Indiana. Mm-hmm. We're going to be heading up there. Uh, we have our little display set up that we always do with the uh, RCs. Um, we're going to be setting up a retro type race for display and the fans. I mean, fans will come in. They'll see the 1-1 drivers from back in the day mm-hmm. and you know even of today. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool event. Really good to see and attend. See the 1-1 classic monster trucks. See the drivers. Come and compete with the, an RC truck. And then uh, we'll cap it all off with a freestyle, and, uh, you know, I'll be bringing something. Yep, we we'll bring that freestyle to the table. Oh, yeah. And uh, personally, I'll be over at the World Championships in Australia. we got a big IFMAR Championships for 1-8 scale buggy. It's been two years, and uh, we're ready to get it get it on again uh, this time in Australia. Uh, big field of racers out there. Uh, hopefully we can bring back some... Uh, some trophies and some awards maybe have some of those inside looks to look at yeah need the podium um, we'll see what we can do out there and uh but anyway fred good luck thanks for joining us here today 
We're back here in the J Concert Garage. Thanks for joining us. See you again next time. See you.